All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to tie a loop knot for crappie fishing. It's absolutely one of my favorite knots to tie because regardless of the presentation or the, the rig that you use, uh, it allows our jig to hang very lifelike in the water. So I absolutely love this knot. I'll go ahead and show you how to tie that right now. And if you stay to the end of this very, very short video, I'll show you how I use this configuration with the loop knot to catch crappies. Let's get to it. I know that I wanna end up with about 16 inches between uh, the double jig rig that I'm gonna tie right now. And you can use this for a single jig or a double jig setup. Uh, the, the knot, uh, the way you tie the knot is exactly the same. So let's get to it. We're gonna tie a double jig uh, setup here. So basically we know that we wanna end up again with 16 inches between the plastics. And so we're gonna give ourselves enough line to work with so that we end up um, with that configuration. So we're gonna take the tag end of our line and bring it through the eye of our jig. Again, we're going to bring it far enough up the line so that when we are, we tie on our second jig, we've got about 16 inches. We've got enough line to give us 16 inches between the two jigs. And so with our index finger and our thumb, we're going to pinch uh, the line together about four inches of line like this. And then we're going to take and make a loop between the index finger and the middle finger like that enough to where we can take our jig and we're going to bring the jig through that loop four times. And now with the hand that's the, what I have, that has the jig, we're going to pinch the bend of that loop and hold it down. And we're going to very slowly uh, draw this in so as to decrease the size of our loop to our desired size. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and moisten our loop because we don't want to cinch it while it's dry because it'll burn the knot. And there is knot number one. Okay, we'll do the same thing now on the bottom. Uh, tag end of our line, bring it through the eye of our jig. Yeah, right about, oops, right about there. Give us enough line to work with. Again, we're going to take and pinch about four inches. Like so. The thumb and index finger. And then we're going to bring and make a loop around the index finger and middle finger. Like that. And then we're going to bring our, our jig in between that loop and that loop four times. Three. Four. And then we want to go ahead and kind of, with our uh, thumb and index finger that's holding the jig, we're going to bring that very softly and very slowly in until we get our loop to the desired size. We want to moisten it. And we want to go ahead and cinch that down. We're going to cut our tagging off here. And that is our double jig. Pretty close now to having about 16 inches between the two, which is where I like to fish them. <clears throat> and guys, you can fish this in a single jig configuration. You can fish it in a double jig uh, configuration. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to see how to use this configuration to catch crappies, click on this video right here, right now. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.